Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel to my Made Simple Attack strategy series and today we've got something a bit different. Super Giants, a couple of Super Wall Breakers. Yeah guys, that doesn't seem too strange but when you add bat spells it becomes very bizarre. But bizarre in a really good way. So we're going to check out a couple of replays in just a moment where I'll show you how to use this amazing attack strategy. First of all, let's meet the troops! So, your army is going to consist of... 12 super giants, 2 super wall breakers, 4 wizards, 2 minions, one of those minions is Mike the Minion. And if he's on the battlefield, you're in with a great chance of getting 3 stars and it's going to be 12 witches to finish the army off there guys. And don't worry about the super wall breakers, you don't need them, I just use them to open up the walls, make things a bit easier. But they're not essential, you can have some more wizards or something like that. Your spells are going to be 5 bat spells, 4 earthquake and 2 free spells. Clan castle troops, 2 yetis, a valk and a barbarian who is called Bob. Of course, how you doing Bob? It's good to see you as always. Your donated clan castle spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top. And normally, we're going to be using the log launcher, guys. Yes! We can check out a replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a quick reminder on this channel, we've got something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favourite content creator in-game. It's easy. Just go to settings, scroll down more settings, scroll down, support your favourite creator. And our code is code Moose, guys. Yes, I put a link that does all that for you in the video description. Anyway, let's jump into our first replay now. Let's go. So guys, through the clouds we go, and the first stage of the attack, of course, is using the Earthquake spells to open up the base. If you can, damage the Town Hall, because that means your Log Launcher will be able to destroy the Town Hall. Perfect, yes? Absolutely. And then, it's funnel time, guys. Yes. Now on this base, it's, it's really useful. We've got these Super Wall Breakers. We can open up the walls there and send in some Super Giants and Witches. But normally, for your funnel, on one side you have a couple of Super Giants, other side a couple of Super Giants with a couple of Witches. There you go, guys. Perfect. Maybe a Wizard to help out as well. Like I said earlier, you don't need the Super Wall Breakers. I just find, though, they make things a little bit easier. Then in the centre of the funnel, guys, put the King down first of all, then the Log Launcher and the rest of the troops behind, Witches last of all. And there we go. It looks like we've got a chance. Look at those logs flying out. The enemy queen is saying, what's going on? A log just ran over my foot. That hurt. And of course, those logs are now uh, going and hitting the town hall. And the town hall will soon be taken out. And guys, we put a rage spell down to help those logs. We have raged the logs up. Uh, not really, guys. It doesn't, doesn't work. It would be really cool if it did, wouldn't it? But anyway... So we've taken out the town hall, now we need to take out some of that nasty sort of, those nasty defences in the centre. We've just used the king's ability. He is just cleaning up that uh, section there. This is looking okay, and it's very important when you decide to use your royal champion. I always say this, guys. Just sort of look at the battlefield and decide when to send in the royal champion. And of course, guys, don't forget about your bats. If you can, try and keep two free spells back for your bats later on, because you want to obviously avoid wizard towers, scatter shots, things like that. And look at this. The bats are doing a great job. And of course, the bats leader is Billy the Bat. And I can see him. There he is. Quite magnificent. And uh, guys, we forgot it's Mike the Minion. How you doing, Mike? And of course, Mike is on the battlefield now. He's in charge. He is in charge of the bats. And he's telling them what to do. And Mike will deliver three stars. Thank you very much. So there's the first replay. We do have another replay, by the way. Uh, another awesome replay. So another centralised town hall base. What are we going to do here, guys? We've got some earthquake spells, and we're going to use them. So just take your time with the earthquake spells. You don't want to sort of put them on the battlefield and miss your target. That's not good. So yeah, look, as you can see, I'm just uh, looking over the battlefield, making some strategic decisions, and there we go. Four earthquake spells down. And really, on this base, we don't really need the super wall breakers. Uh, I... Like I said, you, you don't need them, guys. Um, so, a couple of giants on the left, a couple of giants on the right, a couple of witches as well. That's your funnel in the middle, your king, log launcher, rest of the heroes, rest of the super giants, and the witches. And guys, those logs are flying out everywhere, and I'm sure one of the enemy clan castle troops was just uh, flung into the air. And uh, there's some super minions there. And guys, seriously, just watch out for super minions. Now, I know we don't have a poison spell, so that's uh, one thing you can change. If you are struggling, you can t you maybe bring a poison spell instead of a free spell. Uh, but uh, I like having two free spells. But it's just those super minions. They're so annoying. The other day I was walking to town to buy a pint of milk. And uh, I suddenly this, uh, I felt something on the back of my neck. I looked up and there's a super minion there. And it just followed me for about a mile. It was very annoying and it wouldn't leave me alone. 
So uh, guys, in real life, super minions can be annoying as well. So we're going to freeze the scatter shot. Let's help the bats out. Uh, we don't want them to meet the scatter shot because it is quite nasty. There's a wizard tower there as well. And that's why we need two free spells because we haven't got any now. And that wizard tower is having a great time. And those poor bats, I'm afraid, we might lose them. But no, the royal champion's there to help out. Rachel, the royal champion, has saved the day and saved the bats. And that's quite magnificent. Now, where's Mike the minion? I do believe he should be on the... No, he hasn't been deployed yet. So uh, there we go. Mike has been deployed. Three stars guaranteed. Well done, Mike. Well done. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for more awesome attack strategies. This is Smooth signing out. Thank you so much for your support. For myself and Mike the Minion, take care. Goodbye.